So we're here with the Platy Sense, and uh, what are you showing here? Yeah, this is our product. We call it Seal. This is a sensor for swimming to improve your swimming techniques. So here, for example, the swimmer would wear it. And this is another product, actually. We have two products. This yeah. is one product. This one we are talking about. This is another one. I'm okay. talking about later. Yeah. So what can this do? Uh, this one it measures your force, the force you press against the water, and also the your hands motion. We have some pictures. Yeah. Okay. For example, this graph. Uh, our sensor can measure things so in this graph. It measures your force, and here we use the color to represent different amplitude of the force, and also your hands motion. Uh, after the, the, swim, the swimmer wear this for swimming, and after the exercise, they upload all the data to a mobile uh, app. And then the app will run some uh, algorithm to analyze your stroke and give you some suggestions. Can the app show this nice graphic like this or can it? Yes. This. It shows like this? Yeah, we, we aim, aim at this. And so, have, is it for professionals or for no, no, amateur? It's, it's or? not for professional, it's for amateur, a serious amateur, swimmer or triathlete. It should be for everybody. Yeah, anyone want to swim faster? Anybody who want to swim better? Yes, yes. Anyone want to swim better? Just, just around myself. How heavy is this? You can try. This is quite light. And uh, mm. yeah, yeah. It's quite light. How long yeah. is the battery? Uh, three hours of continuous swimming. Three hours swimming. of continuous swimming. Yeah, continuous swimming. Is there a price? Uh, we target for 150 US dollar for a pair of sensors. A pair, retail, right? Yeah, and a retail price. Yes. All right. And what's the other one you were showing oh, over there? Oh, the other one. Okay. Uh, maybe you come here. Is uh, we call it Marlin. It's uh, basically it tells your lap time and your speed. How does it know? That we have motion sensor inside the <coughs> inside the device. For example, for pool swimming, after you make the turn. There's a human voice because we have a earphone. Uh, there, will, there will be a human voice telling you, okay, last step, you are 51.2 seconds, something like that. So, wow. so you can swim continuously without stopping to look at your watch. Fantastic. Yeah, and also it works in open water as well. You can also wear it in the sea uh, because we have a GPS receiver. GPS inside? Yeah, yeah GPS sensor. It's just like a running wash, but it's for swimming, and also it lets you know the time in real time. You put it on the back of your... Uh, yes. On the back of the goggles? Yes. And GPS is built in? Yeah. And it knows when you change direction? Yeah, when you make a turn, for the left. For indoor okay. use, it just detects your motion. But if you're a really fast swimmer, then the headphones are going to get out of your ear, no? Yeah, that's something you have to work on. Yeah. To improve, to try to improve. How? Okay. Well, well, strap on the ear. Strap on the ear, we, uh, and we are also trying to use the phone, phone to transmit the voice rather than a earphone.